the kids when they were really little, and, and Elspeth, my, my little girl, um, when she was one, you had to be really careful with her, because if you held her a little too close, her favorite thing was to, was to crush your Adam's apple. Um, and, and, and she did this a lot, and I don't think, I don't think it was an accident, and she used, she used to do this to me and, and other people, and um, she doesn't do it anymore, now, now she, she's, she's sweet and only just you know, pinches you until she makes you bleed, but she used to go for the Adam's apple, and, and, and uh, lo and behold, that, that favorite activity of hers made it into a song. <laughs> Elspeth Veronica, named after nobody, nobody that you'd know. Sits very quietly, shows you her pedigree, smiles when you need it most. How could you not fall in love with a girl who's worth her weight in big blue eyes? So when my uh, my son Luke used to go to open mics with me every once in a while, and it was probably like two or three years after I wrote this song and played it at an open mic, and I sat down with him and he said, well, you know, Dad, you, know, you can't sing that worth her weight line anymore because she's so much bigger now. And I was like, oh, you can't do math. <laughs> Elspeth Veronica, wide-eyed and tie-dyed, sings at the coffee shop downtown. Sings very quietly, but if you listen carefully, you'll hear the beating of the sweetest heart. How could you not fall in love with a girl who's worth her weight in big blue eyes? Elspeth Veronica dreams of a house with me with turrets and stained glass. Books in the library, smoke in the double chimney, bunnies in the backyard. How could you not fall in love with a girl who's worth her weight in big blue eyes? Elspeth Veronica not one for subtlety, grabs your esophagus and squeezes. <laughs> Loves unconditionally, blames the economy, curls up with Dostoevsky on my comfy chair. How could you not fall in love with a girl who's worth her weight in big blue eyes?